and here is part two of low pressure sodium firing up. As you can see, we skipped a little bit during the filming. The tube is starting, it's almost entirely filled with cheddar cheese. There's only the very tip is filled with salsa right now. Or the cheddar cheese is actually sodium, as we've said before. I'm not sure what, what the red is exactly. Someone who knows the technical stuff about these a little bit more might be able to explain. And the funny thing is that low pressure sodium is actually, to me anyways, a bit more pleasant to look at than high pressure sodium, even though the CRI is even lower. You get this sort of cool monochromatic effect in which everything looks like you're seeing, you're living inside of a black and white movie versus under high pressure sodium where it looks like everything's sort of dead and dried up and things start to blend together. So, strangely enough, I actually like these better than high pressure sodium. Stranger still, they're actually more efficient than high pressure sodium. In fact, these are probably the most efficient light source, though. People don't really use them much since they're monochromatic. The funny thing is that this particular fixture was originally a darkroom safe light. And although it had red color filters on it, when you turned it on, it still produced this color even through the red filters. That only raises further questions. Yep, this thing is almost entirely fired up and warmed up. So, the cheddar cheese has filled most of the tube already. And to the naked eye, it looks like the tip has been filled as well even though you can see that there's still a little bit to go on the camera. Which is just good because we're running out of time. Enjoy. Laters.